An Ontario man is standing his ground. The second World War veteran is resisting the government's push to convert all home hydro meters to smart meters. He's refusing to pay his power bill until the new meter is taken down. But as Jeff Harrington reports, Hydro One is threatening to cut the man's power off. All right, so this all dates back to December. That's when a Hydro One crew showed up here on Russell Irwin's property. He is a Second World War veteran, by the way. Uh, they told Mr. Irwin that he would need to install a smart meter. The 91-year-old wanted no part of that. He asked the crews to leave, but Mr. Irwin says they later came back and installed a smart meter when he wasn't around. Now, since then, back in December, he hasn't paid his bills, so he got this letter in the mail saying that his power would be cut between September 3rd and September 17th uh, simply because he hasn't paid his bill and there's also an amount owing on here. Uh, Hydro One says close to $4,000. Well, Russell Irwin is standing his ground. He's not going to pay this. He says he wants the smart meter taken away. Then he'll pay his bill. By the way, he's never missed a payment uh, in his life, he tells us. So this is all really from a bitter battle and a dispute and he just wants to get rid of the smart meter because he feels it's an intrusion of his privacy. Take it away and put the old one back. I never wanted another meter and half the people in Ontario won't want another meter. But they just shove it down your throat. Why? And, you because know, they can. Now, Russell's son-in-law, Dwayne, also lives here with him. He is part of this battle and really standing up for his father-in-law. He wants to make sure that this smart meter is taken away. There are some serious concerns here. The pair are looking out west to British Columbia because people there, uh, because of so much protest, they were able to get a choice in the matter. So it's up to people who live in B.C. whether they want a smart meter or whether they don't want one. But bottom line is, they have a choice and that's something the pair would like to see here. They haven't said anything about a compromise. All they've suggested to this point is you can have hydro and you must take a smart meter or you can go off the grid. That was their suggestion to us. There are repercussions when we have unaffordable energy decisions being made at the provincial level and uh, we're seeing it in our municipal sector, we're seeing it on our personal hydro bills. Uh, it's got to stop and uh, to put it bluntly, the only way it's going to stop is if you get this uh, group of liberals out of there. So here we have the generator. Russell Irwin has it on standby because there is still the looming threat that power to his Orangeville home here, that's about an hour north of Toronto, could be cut. But for now, they're hoping, Russell Irwin and his uh, son-in-law are hoping to open up the discussion about really having a choice in the matter. That's the big thing for them, choice. It should be up to them whether or not they want a smart meter. So for now, as mentioned, the lights are still on and it will stay that way, it appears, at least for now. Back to you.